Moon Baboon is one of the bosses in this trippy space level. You have to apply both the powers of Mei and Cody in order to make short work of him. So at the start of this fight, this laser will track Mei and the player who controls her has to keep on running without stopping. The player that controls Cody needs to find an illuminating circle in the environment. This one over here. Once Cody steps on it, it will eject from the ground. Now the player that controls Mei should run behind this structure in order for the laser to short circuit. Now Moon Baboon emits rotating lasers. Jump over them and keep an eye on the bombs that he throws as well. Now it's Cody's turn to make a run for it. Repeat the same tactic as before, but now activate the platform with Mei instead. The lasers will appear again, and afterwards you have to repeat this cycle one more time. However, this time the structure is too high. Use Mei's moon boots to walk a little bit over the wall, and this will cause the laser to connect with the structure again. Moon Baboon now launches a couple of rockets. As long as you keep evading them, they will eventually come to a standstill. Jump on, fly and aim towards Moon Baboon's UFO. It might be a bit tricky because the controls are inverted. A couple of good hits and Moon Baboon crashes. Now shrink Cody down to his miniature size and enter the UFO from the side. It's now May's turn to evade the lasers again, while Cody has to do some platforming. In fact, there will be multiple lasers, so as May, keep as much airtime as possible and extend it with an air dodge. As Cody, beware of the turning platforms, but it is recommended to make some haste as your partner is being troubled on the other screen. Use the dodge button to speed yourself up. Now jump past the rotating lasers with Cody. You will come across this crushing wall section. Get inside the wall structure, but wait for a bit until you cannot go any further. Right over here. Then run and dodge for your life to get to the other side. Over the rotating cylinders and to the wall jump section. Now these walls are static, so wait until you see the electricity appear and then quickly jump up. Now ground pound the eject button. Now the next section requires some real collaboration. The player that controls Mei should fly the UFO and the player that controls Cody should shout out the directions where Moon Baboon is. This is indicated on Cody's radar, over here. When Mei more or less hovers above Moon Baboon, Cody should fire the laser down. It'll take just a few hits. And that's the end of this ape. I really enjoyed Moon Baboon as a character and as a boss. Let me know what you think of this fight and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next time. I can't let you harm her. I'm her best friend. Hello, she hasn't played with you for years.